Hey guys, um, today we're going to be doing a tutorial in After Effects, and it's a little intro that I made, so this is what we're going to be creating. Danger ahead. Dun 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 yeah. Alright, so, um, yeah, I made this. It's not personal, like, good, but, you know, I thought I'd make it, and this is how I did it. Okay, so we're going to make a new composition, 1 to 8 by 720p. Uh, frame rate is 23.976, duration 10 seconds long, and just name it tutorial, I spelled it wrong, tutorial, okay, hit ok, and um, before we start, we're going to be using some textures and spiders from Riot Gear, okay, so Riot Gear is a collection of HD organic stock footage, um, has a lot of stuff, grunge, effects, uh, pen effects, and ink. And it costs 49 US dollars. Um, you have to buy it from videocopilot.net. Really recommend you buy it. It's got really good, um, you know, uh, HD when it's stock footage. It's really, really, um, really good. And here's tutorials on how to make things with them. And also, just visit the website. It's got really good tutorials. And it also has much more products. Okay, back to the tutorial. The first thing we're going to need to do is get a texture called grunge grade number 16 and uh... okay we have it here and that's pretty good we'll just leave it like that Okay. the second thing we're going to do is make a new solid and name it background and uh... do effect generate ramp and we're going to use a light a light purple make sure it's not going to pink uh, okay, and this is going to be a black. Make this a radial ramp and just put that in the middle, like that. Put this at the bottom and hit F4, or you can hit toggle switches and set it to alpha mat. Sorry, sorry, luma mat. Okay, so it looks pretty good, but it's not exactly the same. Reason is because I added the curves. I added the curves adjustment here. So if if, if you blah, 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 if you hit effect, uh, color correction, curves, and you just uh you know add a good curves. Oops, add a good curves adjustment. Something like that. Okay. Uh, like that, and you know. You, it doesn't have to be like this, but you just want to, you know, make it look nice and textured. Something like that. So, um, now we can add, get the text tool and type in Danger Ahead. And just, uh, scale it up and write Danger Ahead. Now we're going to make it a light pink ish color. Something like that, but less pink, a bit more purple. Uh, something like that. Cool. And put it there. And yeah. Okay. So we'll get a new camera, make it 50 millimeters, and just hit OK. And we'll hit F4 and make these 3D layers. So now what we're going to do is hit P, set a keyframe on the camera, and we want to get the track Z tool, and you want to move in, and you want to make this about 42, okay? So it's gone all the way in, you set a keyframe, you move forward to about 16 frames or so, and then you want to zoom right back out, and now you want to zoom out a bit more than you want, so just like that, and then you go forward a bit, and then zoom it back in and that just makes it pop a bit so we can uh make all of the what should I make the last two um easy ease by hitting f9 so this just uh just pops out a bit um so just like that and as you see these are getting cut off um so you just want to scale these up right Okay, so we've done the basic uh, animation, and now we're going to add the splatters. So, we're going to use three splatters, splatter number 1, number 5, number 12. So bring number 1 out, 
and um, you see it's black and white so if you hit F4 and set it to screen uh, just position this one here um, get number 5 out which is this one and again you want to hit F4 set it to screen and um, I think I'm actually going to make uh, make this 3D layer and hit W right and rotate it this way okay so you can rotate these elements obviously I'm just gonna put it here and then get number 12 out and then uh, hit F4 set it to screen and then put this one down here and now you wanna time these up so as it finishes popping you want number 12 to come on first this to come on last like that, that one like that and like that so it's like they all zoom out and then bang 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 oh my god okay and then you can add a fade out if you want um, so that's basically what I did it wasn't hot at all um, you can see that is what I did um, now you can make the text look a bit more better by just uh, adding stuff like um, bevel alpha and uh, another thing you can do is duplicate it right name it shadow and put this at the bottom and delete the bevel alpha and then make it black and then go to the effects and presets and type in CC radial fast blur and apply it to the shadow right and then you want to make this about 79 right or 80 whatever and you want to make it minus um minus like 300 or something or 241 and that adds a nice shadow and if you can uh you know do the amount of the shadow as well um so yeah just make it look more cool um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and obviously you wanna uh, hit n obviously to render it out um yeah and the sound effects, um, they're actually on video YouTube. So I put the sound effects in. A, I put the video in a different program, and then put all the sound effects in. And the sound effects were actually all from uh, what do you call it? Designer sound effects. Okay. So go to designer sound effects. There'll be a lot of sound effects in there. Buy it. Actually, apart from two. So I had one sound effect from design sound effects and the other one was from um, freesound.org I just typed in something like splatter something like that and then I um, you know looked for a good splatter effect by the way this um, website is great for sound effects they're all free all you have to do is make an account it like, takes two seconds and if you click on one you can um, right click on it and save as Okay, so again, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.